Uh, Haps Pop asked, is it okay to be more worried about the pest from the West than the beast from the East? Uh, look, it's been a really interesting week for the US President. After finding out that a deputy sheriff stayed outside during the recent Florida school shooting, uh, the man who avoided the draft for Vietnam with a medical exemption <coughs> calmly said this. You don't know until you test it, but I think I, I really believe I'd run in there even if I didn't have a weapon. And I think most of the people in this room would have done that too, because I know most of you. I mean, <laughs> imagine the shit he, talk, he would talk if he actually drank alcohol. <laughs> It's bizarre. Who's he? He's not Batman. Like, yeah, but he's never going to have to do it. No, you no. know, he's talking shit because he's <laughs> never going to be a teacher in a school. <laughs> walking through with but that. That would actually that would almost be worse than being a president if your kid came home and said, "My new teacher is yeah. Donald Trump." <laughs> <laughs> It was kind of like a reminder of, you know, when you watch football, you go, I'd have scored that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it's just like a guy down the pub. Yeah. Got, he's just a prize prick. <laughs> <laughs> I love in, in his head, he thinks he's John Wayne. Yeah. But in reality, he'd be Ollie Murs. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, I, th I mean, the reality of guns is totally different to what people think they're going to be. And both of you have had recent experience with guns, have you not? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, uh, Tom, we've made it sound so dramatic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like a gun. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, I think when we've been shooting action team, we um. Yeah. So the, the so over here, if you're doing an action sort of scene and you're given a gun, you have a guy literally with you the whole time, watching you and watching the gun. And as soon as yeah. you start the scene, you get the gun, then they take it off you after. But in Bulgaria, a guy just rocked up at breakfast and went, "Are you Tom?" And I went, yeah, yeah, and he went, this is your gun. I went, oh, thanks, do I need it? And he went, give it to me at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and it's such a fucking weird thing. Because yeah. then you're walking around all day, with a, and it's a horrible feeling, you're just... But then you become quite accustomed to sort of, sort of between scenes, you're sticking it in the back of your jeans, you're having lunch with it. Is it kind of like when you always wonder, shit, where's my wallet? <laughs> 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 I don't want to lose a gun. Then I've got a bottle open, better than that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> And then, Vicky, you, you were taught how to use guns, were you not? Yeah, I did gun training for line of duty. Yeah. Um, had a bit of a bad experience with that. Went to the range and then I had to get a flight from Belfast to Nottingham yeah. um, that day. And I was just at security about to put my bag through. I took my scarf off and the casing of a bullet fell on the floor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. So I left my case and just abandoned it. Perfect <laughs> 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 thing to do at an airport. And uh, yeah, popped it in the bin and then panicked and I made it through. <laughs> well, it's good to know security is shit. <laughs> Up to us to make it okay. It's time to be positively rebellious and rebelliously positive. As long as we stand up for what we believe in, don't give in to anger or violence. Look out for the little guy. Keep an eye on the big guys. Refuse to keep our mouths shut and just generally try not to be dicks.